Hey there, welcome back. Alex Lyon here, and today we are going to be looking at task and interpersonal relationship. We are working out of Johnson and Hackman's book on leadership, a communication perspective. I'll put links to that in the description below this video. So let's get into the details. So various researchers from the 1940s up through the 1960s found two consistent communication dimensions for leadership. So when they studied leadership, they noticed that leaders had task-oriented skills like concern for production. They would initiate structure and focus on the work. Maybe you have met some leaders who are all about the task part of the job. They also noticed that a lot of leaders had this interpersonal oriented skill set. And that's where they were concerned for people. They were showing consideration to the people around them and focused on people. Those are the two key dimensions that we see when we look at both task and interpersonal leadership approaches. And those were the first key variables that they identified. So a little bit more about these two different dimensions because they're gonna show up, as you'll see, in a lot of different theories from this period. So this is a good, not comprehensive list, but a pretty good thorough list about each of these. So that under the task orientation, we see leaders having doing behavior like this. They're disseminating information. These leaders might ignore the positions, ideas, and feelings of others. Leaders like this engage in rigid, stylized communication. You may have had a leader who interrupts others or makes demands. They're focused on the task, so they're not really attuning to you as an individual with feelings. They're focusing on the facts, data, and information as they relate to the tasks. They're emphasizing productivity through the acquisition of technical skills. Not people skills, but technical skills. They most often require written communication and they maintain a closed door policy. Now, truth be told, I don't know any leader who actually says, I have a closed door policy and announces it that way. So that's not a necessarily literal policy, but frequently you will see that task oriented leaders will have their door closed and really not invite much communication from other people. The second dimension is the interpersonal orientation. And these leaders are quite different. They're, if you've had a leader like this, it's very likely they're soliciting your opinion. They're recognizing the positions, ideas, and the feelings of others. They engage in flexible, open communication. They listen carefully to others. They make requests instead of making demands. They do focus on feelings, emotions, and attitudes as they relate to your personal needs, not just the task at hand. They emphasize productivity, that's true, but typically through the acquisition of personal skills. So in other words, they work with people to help productivity move forward. That's the, their emphasis is working with on the people side of things. And they most often communicate orally, so they're talking to you face to face. They're not saying, well, make sure you write that down, just send me an email. They wanna engage you, they come to your office, they swing by to talk to you face to face. And they maintain an open door policy, and again, Open door policy may not be an official thing. They might say, I have an open door policy. That might signal it. But really what an open door policy actually is, is when they follow through. They have their door open. They're very invitational. They encourage people consistently to come and talk to them about anything. That will generally tell you you're dealing with a person who has strong interpersonal orientations. And leaders can be good or bad at both of these. They're not mutually exclusive. It is true that sometimes leaders tend to lean one way or the other, but they could be strong in both. And numerous other studies throughout the 40s, 50s, and 60s used these two key concepts as a foundation. You're gonna see some version of it come up over and over again, even though the terms they use may be slightly different. We're gonna look at the University of Michigan leadership studies, the Ohio State studies, and Blake and McKenzie's leadership grid, which is a really popular one as well. So question for you today is, do you know any leaders that lean strongly toward the task side or strongly toward the interpersonal side? And without naming names, I would love to hear an example of what that looked like in your life below. I look forward to reading those comments soon. So take care and I'll see you soon.